Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So we have this complex integration. We have to solve. Okay. We have to find the value of this complex integration. But see, they have given two different cores here. Okay. So you can consider these are two different problems. This is the first core. This is second core. And we have to find the value of that integration for both cores. So they have given two different examples in a single problem. Okay. So you can consider this one. So let us call the given integral as i first. We have our i is integration over c z square plus 4 upon z minus 2 z plus 3i dz. Okay, so this is a given integral. So let us note down the function that is also so much important. That means whatever the inside the integration that is our function. So let us call it as f of z. Here f of z is z square plus 4 upon z minus 2 z plus 3. So this is a function we have, right? So what they have said here using residue theorem the residue theorem means Cauchy's residue theorem with the help of that we have to find the value of this integration so let us recall the statement of Cauchy's integral uh, Cauchy's residue theorem first then we will decide how to solve this problem okay so according to Cauchy's residue theorem the value of integration over c f of z dz is 2 pi i sum of residues that means what we do, we draw the diagram first, whatever the given curve C, so we draw that curve C here. After that, we find the singular points of f of z, getting singular points, that means a point where function is not analytic. So maybe some points, some singular points will lie inside and some singular points can lie outside the given curve C. If any singular point lies outside, no need to worry. We have to focus on the singular points which are lying inside C, okay, inside C. We find the residues of given function at these two singular points, whatever, how many singular points, we will find the residues for that. Then we take sum of residues and whatever the answer, we take the product with 2 pi i and that will be the value of integration. That means actually we do not solve the integration directly. We calculate residues and with the help of that, we get the value of integration. Here, that curve C plays very significant role, very important role because it decides which residues we have to find. So in case, if you have a huge circle like this, in that case, those all singular points will lie inside and you have to find residue at all poles, getting? So the value of integration will be definitely different. So it depends on the curve C, getting? So what will I do? We have a two curves, but before that I will identify the singular points of this given function. Okay. So let me remove this part and then we will continue. Okay. So we have to find singular points of this function. In a simple language, we say singular points means a point where the denominator is zero. You can easily see if I put z is equal to 2, this bracket will be 0. That means denominator will be 0. And for z is equal to minus 3i, again, bracket will be 0. That means denominator is 0. So here in this case, two points creating complications for us, creating problem for us. That is 2 and minus 3i. Getting since both for both points, we are getting denominator 0. So these are our singular points. So here z is equal to 2 and z is equal to minus 3i are singular points. Okay. After that, we need to focus on the curve since we have to check whether those points are lying inside the given curve or lying outside a given curve. Okay. So they have given two different curves. We will discuss both curves one by one. So let us continue here. I'm considering the first curve that is c is mod z plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, so z plus 1 is equal to 2. This is mod z plus 1 is equal to, this is equation of circle. This is equation of what? Circle. So I'm going to draw the circle, but for that, uh, I need to have the center and radius of a circle. So now the question is how to find center and radius? We will compare with a standard form. The standard form is mod z minus z naught is equal to r. 
so z not is center and r is radius okay in this case we have plus sign there what we have z plus 1 is equal to 2 we supposed to have minus sign but no need to worry we can easily adjust minus sign there in this way mod z minus minus 1 is equal to 2 in this case z dot is minus 1 getting so the center is minus 1 so center of that circle is minus 1 that means actually minus 1 plus 0 i minus 1 is a real number so imaginary part is not there so imaginary part will be 0 that means we say minus 1 comma 0 is a center let us talk about radius it's quite simple to find radius right hand side if you compare r is equal to 2 so the radius is 2 so we have a circle with center minus 1 comma 0 radius 2 so let us draw this circle first okay so let us draw the circle here imaginary axis real axis let us have some scaling 1 2 3 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 right so what is the center minus 1 comma 0 so here is the center minus 1 comma 0 radius is 2 2 on this side 2 on this side okay here 2 and at bottom also we'll get 2 so we will have a circle like this Uh, this is my rough sketch so we have got a circle like this now the question is we have to check whether those singular points are lying inside or outside let us find 2 where is our 2 2 just minute huh? 2 will be here and minus 3i so minus 3i it is here minus 3i see 2 is here and minus 3i is here that means the important thing is both singular points are lying outside the circle to apply Cauchy's residue theorem at least one singular point should lie inside but here we have only two singular points and both of them are lying outside the circle in that case we need to go for Cauchy's theorem okay it means the function is analytic inside and on closed curve see so let me clearly mention all things here here both singular points singular points lie outside c okay both points are lying outside it means function is analytic therefore function is f is analytic inside and on c so the function is analytic inside and on this closed curve c since no any singular point lying inside so we should go for Cauchy's theorem therefore by Cauchy's theorem so Cauchy's theorem says if the function is analytic inside and on closed curve c then the value of integration is zero no need to calculate you can directly declare the value of integration is zero i will do the same therefore integration over c z square plus 4 upon z minus 2 z plus 3i dz its value is 0 so in this way we have completed the first part we discussed the first curve one more curve we have so let us discuss it okay just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us discuss the second curve okay so what is the second curve here c is mod z minus 2 is equal to 2 so this is again equation of circle to draw this circle we need to find center and radius i will apply the same technique i will compare the given equation with a standard form the standard form of circle is mod z minus z naught is equal to r this is center r is radius z naught minus sign we have okay so our z naught is 2 so let me mention the center is 2 that means actually 2 plus 0 i imaginary part is not there so i have adjusted center is 0 comma 2 radius we can easily obtain just by comparing right hand side r is equal to 2 so the radius is 2 so let us draw the circle with center 2 comma 0 and radius 2 imaginary axis real axis have some scaling 1 2 3 4 
1, 2, 3, minus 1 actually. Okay. So, the center is 2 this time. Radius is also 2. So, we will have a circle like this. Okay. So, I am drawing a rough sketch. Circle will be like this. Okay. Yes. So, this is a given circle. And the singular points are 2 and minus 3. I get it. So, out of these two singular points, one singular point lies inside circle, one singular point lies outside circle. The point lies outside is does not doesn't matter for us getting we are not going to find any residue for that. But see, this singular point lies inside circle that means we have to find residue at that point. Fortunately, it's a simple pole. So we have a simple formula to calculate residue. Okay. In our previous video, several examples, we have already discussed how to find residue if it is a simple pole. So here also I will mention here, Z is equal to is a simple pole and it lies inside C. Okay, it lies inside and it is a simple pole minus 3 lies outside. So that's why I'm not going to find residue for that. So, residue of f of z at z is equal to 2. So, for simple pole, we have very simple formula to calculate residue. It is limit z tends to 2, z minus 2, f of z. Okay. So, this is limit z tends to 2, z minus 2. I should put f of z here, z square plus 4 upon z minus 2, z plus 3i. Okay, so I have written f of z. Now our favorite task to cancel out the terms z minus 2, z minus 2 will get cancelled to each other. And for the remaining part of a function, we should apply limit. Apply limit that means at a place of z, we have to put 2 everywhere. Okay, so let us do. So 2 square plus 4, this bracket we have cancelled out 2 plus 3i. 2 square is 4 plus 4 upon 2 plus 3i. Getting? But actually, we uh, never expect complex number in a denominator to remove that thing. It's not compulsory, okay? It's not compulsory, but the standard form is generally we have a real number in a denominator. Getting? So, to cancel out this complex part, I will take rationalization. Rationalization means we have a plus sign. So, I will take minus sign between them and I will take product with a numerator and denominator. Let us do 4 plus 4, 8 and 2 plus 3i. Rationalization 2 minus 3i, 2 minus 3i. So, if you take product or you can keep it as it is 2 minus 3i, 2 plus 3i, 2 minus 3i. So, we are familiar with this formula. Uh, where shall I write? A, a plus b, a minus b. It is a square minus b square, right? So, here we have 2 square minus 3 square i square. Let us remove. So, 8, 2 plus 3i, 2 square is 4, i square is minus 1, minus minus, plus 3 square is 9. So, 8, 2 plus 3i upon 13, right? So, this is required residue. After that, we should go for the final answer, the value of integration. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So, let us find value of integration. Okay, uh, here we should have minus sign. Okay, since already minus sign is there. So, here also we should write minus sign. So, let us continue. So, let us use Koch's residue theorem. Koch's residue theorem. Okay, so by statement of theorem, integration z square plus 4 upon z minus 2, z plus 3i dz. By the statement of residue theorem, 2 pi i sum of residues, right? But see here we have a single singular point which lies inside. So we have a single residue. So let us put it here. So this is 2 pi i 8. 2 minus 3i right upon 13. So 8 to the 16 pi. I am taking product of this i and this bracket. So 2i minus 3i square upon 13. 
so 16 pi right i square is minus 1 so he this will be minus plus 2i minus minus plus 3 upon 30 so 16 pi 3 plus 2i upon 30 so this is required answer okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video